What is going on guys, welcome back to another video here on the Hashtag United channel and today, yes we are going up against Bronix in Regent Reserves away, but we have a very early start. We're in the Hashtag headquarters, in fact the gaming headquarters, and before we go to Brightling see I've got somebody here, he's Honey Badger, how are we? Good, a bit tired. Early doors. Early doors, but we have qualifiers today for the LQE. 300 players and only uh, four spots, so should be fun, but we'll try our best. Um, had the G fin that we did, the boys there did really well, we got to the playoffs which was an improvement on last year but um, we were hoping to go some more steps but unfortunately we couldn't. So you obviously in Bucharest and the other lads are at Gfinity, how was Bucharest? Uh, it wasn't our best event, we haven't been doing too well at the lands but um, definitely room for improvement but we definitely will pick up later in the year. It's going to be a busy busy January and New Year, we've got qualifiers just before New Year's, we've got I think three qualifiers in January so massive events, I think one's going to be over maybe across the pond in America so hopefully we can get to that one. And I think we've got some more big events in London as well. So hopefully we can get to those as well. Decent. See you in the new year. Right, so now let's go to Brightling Sea. Don't know what they're doing. What do you reckon the scores will be? I'm going to say I'm going to be happy with 3-0 today. 3-0? 3-0. Boys? All a clean sheet. Yanni? Goals. I reckon because um, we're not so solid at the back, we're going to lose about 7-1. 7-1. Wow. What? No Richmond will score. Not so solid at the back. Stay tuned. And just like that, we have arrived at Brightling Sea Regent Reserves Ground. Well, it's actually Brightling Sea Regent FC, but we're playing the reserves team because Brightling Sea Regent are, I think, a few steps up from us. But I will be grabbing a chat with a few of the lads to talk to them about how they feel about being a football manager. How big is that? If you don't know already, where have you been? Living under a rock, probably. But be sure to click the link in the description to get the free downloadable demo and do the hashtag United Challenge in Football Manager. You do not want to miss out on that. That is huge stuff. I mean, I'm even in the game. I'm a data analyst and a winger. Get a guy who could do both. And this is the changing rooms. It's a bit tight today. Not gonna lie, Jacko. Uh, what? We'll save it till later. <laughs> Slide to the right. <laughs> Slide to the left. Chris, he can't do that. Oh, he can. <laughs> George. You're right. Hang on, is that George? Are you, oh. hey, what, you're not in Sunday League gear. Yeah, I've had a cool up. Oh. You got the cool up. Yeah. My I'm man, I missed you. I missed you. Missed How you. are you though? You good? I'm good. Yeah. How about you? Good. I'm. I'm. Thank you. Not many people <laughs> ask me, but I'm great. Thanks. But uh, yeah, obviously been featuring the West of Yellow content. Been playing very well. Obviously, Devs does watch that content. We know you're very quick. I've seen you down the wings. In fact, <laughs> I've played the balls to you. Not to your feet. I've played them in front of you. Sometimes you like it. Sometimes yeah. you don't. But yeah. Hopefully you do well today, mate. Thank you. We had a training session the other day, didn't we, Arnie? And uh, what did we get up to? We did indeed. So uh, we decided to ask the players what they want for Christmas. It's to test how they think as football players, right? When a football player's asked, what do you want for Christmas? They're supposed to answer three points, three points. please. See how they got on. Daniel Aji, what do you want for Christmas? Obviously we're playing a game, 20 seconds, you know. Piece and three points. What would you like for Christmas? Apart from three points on Saturday. Three points Saturday. Three points. <laughs> Whoa, he's only going to done it! Oh, Grim, Wes, what are you doing? Absolute children. <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? I want like a million FIFA points so that I can get very good at FIFA and be at Harry. Can you uh, hold that? Yeah, I'll hold it. Can you put it on? No, I just need you to put it on, mate. No, no, Do it for the sake of the content. No, no, just put it on. What do you mean? Not a chance. Right, brilliant. Okay, so um, I want to ask you, you know, we're so close to Christmas. What do you want for Christmas? Uh, what do I want for Christmas? Uh, we've got a league game coming up on the 22nd. 22nd, we've got Brighton to see away. Yeah, so, yeah. So what do you want for Christmas? Well, that's a win, obviously, but I think it'll be called off. So then we're looking to the 29th. You'd want to win? Yeah. Yeah, that would be Great stuff, mate. Outstanding. To be honest with you, I want a girl, like, so I can cuddle with her, like, Win eyes. What kind of hashtag content do you think we're making? <laughs> Peace and goodwill to all men. All right. Apart from Triple H, Lee Hersey, Jack Harrison, <laughs> Lewis Preston. Devs, can you do me a favour? Can you wear that? No. Right guys, so as I said when I first got here, we were going to be grabbing a few of the lads and having a chat with them about their stats. And someone who's going to help us do that is Sebi. And here he is, Sebi. 
Yes, mate. Right. How are you doing? I've heard you've got a few of the stats to hand, mate. Yes, I have actually. We're going to actually indeed. have a few of the. Let me just get them. Yeah. Well, a few of the boys about it. Some absolute corkers in there. I mean, yeah. it's very difficult, isn't it, to sort of figure out what our stats should be like. You know, I've been playing football manager for years. It's all out of twenty, but um, it's interesting to see what people's best stats are. And also some particular traits. Like I know you, Lou, yeah. you've got dives into tackles, you naughty boy. I think diving into tackles has mean putting my body on the line for the team. I think that's diving into tackles means coming off the bench on the America Tour and getting injured within four and a half seconds. I, I completely erased <laughs> that out of my memory, so we won't bring that up again. I, I think the reference is in the Sunday League. But who can we have a chat with here? I mean, we've got Rico there, we've got Ryan Adams there, a few others. Yeah, I'll chat to Ryan, I'll get Ryan's stats up. Let's go have a little look. 19 for bravery. Mate, I'll tell you that all day Warrior. long. Warrior. I think that was just from that one challenge where I got done by the keeper, to be fair. Mate, no, you've got all, you've got your other, you've got 15 work rate, 13 determination. That is very Ryan Adams. It says a little bit about my football ability, though. Well, I mean, you've got some good when stats. Got, 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 my work rate, got yeah. Good acceleration, no. good agility. What's his worst stat? That's what That's I want to know. That's right. what the people want to know. Your worst stat, I mean, your worst stat, balance three. Balance? Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm I think he's got. <laughs> About that. I'm not sure. I mean, they've marked me higher on flair than balance, which I think is a little bit out there, but you know. Well, I, I think you've done right there, mate. No, I think I'm, wait, I'm you're well going to be one. I've that. already got my save on well going. Impressed. Ryan, you were flying for me. You were banging the system, and then you got a broken ankle over five months. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Hopefully, that don't happen today, yeah? Matt Carter, right here, mate. How you doing, sir? How are you feeling about your FM stats? Oh, yeah, I was actually quite impressed with them, to be fair. I mean, got 13 for passing, which for a, a team in our level, that's like probably know, yeah. one of the best passing in the it's team. It's got some golden stars there as well, seeing like potential yeah. and everything. You've got, you got player traits, dictates tempo. No. I'm not very impressed with it, to be fair. Although, having said that, some of your worst stats, I've got a real corker for you. <laughs> penalty taking five, mate. Oh, I'll take that. I don't think I've scored a penalty in my life. You be <laughs> should be better than Tom Williams, though, right? <laughs> wow. Apparently you're a very influential player. No. That's meant to like in the dressing room, there's got stats on and off the pitch. You're very influential. How do you feel about that? Well, I mean, I think the others are more annoyed because they don't think it's true. But I mean, I'm happy with it. I've obviously seen something in you. Mate. Seen scouts something. have seen something in you. You've got a very well balanced profile. You know, you're pretty versatile. You can play midfield, defence. Looking at this, you've got 14 for determination. Do you know what it is? I need to have a word with you because I need to. My contract, 40 quid a week. What? I want a pay rise. You, you, you run that next year. He well, runs out. We need to you sit down. Out, we need to sit down around the table. Be gone. Be gone. Be Having said that, look at the other end of your scale. Free kick taking four, corners three, mate. No, do you know what it is? Because I haven't taken them because I'm. Normally in the box. That's true. true. So that's and that's true because you're heading is 12. Yeah. And my my pace sounds about head. right. Five. Yeah, sounds about right. Those boots. Maybe yeah. a bit. Player traits, dives into tackles, brings the ball out of defence. That's the same as me. I dive into tackles. Right, and here are my own stats. As you can see here, media description. I'm an experienced winger. Got decent crossing, decent corners, I'll take that. Leadership's not a bad stat, I'm quite happy with that, but um yeah. I think this guy's stats are on the decline, unfortunately. What? But it's just amazing to be in the game. I've played football manager literally all the way through my youth to now. It's an amazing, amazing game, guys. If you haven't ever played it before, this is the most amazing opportunity for you guys to get involved for free. Link in the description, download FN, the Hashtag United Challenge. You play as Hashtag United for an entire season. Can you do better than devs are doing right now? That is not an easy job, let me tell you. But Give it a go. Can you take us to promotion? Which of the boys would be in your team? You can do all this stuff, train the players, buy new players, maybe even get Scotty P back on loan. That's what I've done in my version of the game. So give it a go, guys. You're going to love it. Right, so you guys know what time it is. It's that time of the week. Jacko! <laughs> What's making you happy oh, this yeah. week? Go on. I'm talk right. to what? I'm right. No, well, you're not. There we go. There it is. Well. This football manager thing, right? Oh, uh, well, I've actually just been speaking with Seb about a few of the other lads' stats and, and obviously quite happy with them. Listen, they were nice as oh. bite in the face when I was there. I'm not so sure mm. they, that's transpired within the game, though. Look at no, them. but I've yeah. seen your stats. I think they look pretty good. Like, well, the age in particular. I think they, I think they got that. They've got me down as 40 minutes, 40 years of age. But that's not being funny. Boat race like this. Physique, physique. yeah. We, yeah, we yeah. spoke about that. 40 that's... years of age. Are they sure? Ooh. How old are you then? 40. Right, Jack Harrison needs to go because he's had the call from the wife that we've been speaking about for the last few weeks yeah, about the baby. Half an hour till kick off. And uh, yeah, I'm just changing the other way around. I'm at phone now. Uh oh. Jack, I hope all goes well, keep posted. Thank you very mate. much, right. yeah, we'll do. All that will be is or Kane will come in at right back and Peter shift shuffle back in to send half alongside. For I so uh, minimal disruption really. Um, 
in terms of uh, the bench, there's a few, some changes. We've got some uh, some players that are not available that were in the squad last week. So uh, George Valentine comes in, so he features for the first time on the bench. And uh, because of Jack having to shoot away, Rich will, will come onto the bench now as well. So we, you know, we still fill the bench, but yeah, that's it. All go. Oh wow! That's a fine. You're the one who's got to go tell your dad, though. <laughs> You're not going to tell him. You've made me the decision easy, really, uh, with your performance last week. It's up to you to make next week's decision easy again, or not. The side we're playing against will be full of confidence. They scored eight last week. They've had a great result. Um, they're a young side, they're a developmental side. Um, you know, I think I've said before about their success is measured in different ways because it's a pathway to their first team. But what this club does and, and, and have been doing is giving them that pathway. This is not a reserves that works on its own. So they've got an incentive of getting into the first team and they've been getting boys into their first team. So that means that they're clearly doing something right here and that uh, if they put a performance in, it's going to be a real, real tough day for us. Exact same setup as, as last week in terms of you in there, Matt, holding those, those areas, yeah, picking up. Um, but then we, can we get the wide boys in? You were excellent last week, the pair of you, Harry and Ryan. You terrorised your fullbacks. Uh, I expect you to be playing with confidence, but the same intent. We've got to make sure that we are absolutely at it from the first kick of the game to the last. Yes, yeah, so remember about our standards. Let's make sure that we are at it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Taydale Stadium, the home of Brightling Seat Region Reserves. I'm joined by my brother Seb, but we're going to commentate this hashtag away game. And we beat them 3-0 and we played them at our place, but a few things have changed since then. They've gone on a good run of two wins in a row. They've scored 11 goals and conceded none in their last few games. That's after a run of nine defeats. They've turned some sort of corner. Seb, what's happening? Well, it's, it's a tough one, isn't it? It's such a drastic change. You think with a team that's got a first team, it might be because of that, but I've talked to some of the guys at the club today. Apparently none of the first team ever play in this reserve team, so it's all down to their own merits. And I think it's down to a lot of one man, Charlie Gilbert. Charlie Gilbert's got four goals in the last five games, wow. but he's not always available. You see, okay. apparently a lot of work commitments, things like that happen at this level, but he is available today. He's available today, and speaking of availability, we've had some shock news here. We've lost our skipper. Two minutes before kickoff, Jack Harrison's found out his wife Lottie may have gone into labour. So he's had to leave. Ryan Adams takes the armband for today. Kane Brogan comes into the team. A little bit of a shape up, but we're still feeling confident we can get the win. Let's go hashtag. Take a quick look at the team today. In goal, we have Jamie Jackson. In defence, Ross Gleed, Simon Peddy and Farai in that makeshift centre-half partnership with Jack Harrison out. Kane Brogan in at right back. Ricky Evans and Lee Hurst in the middle. Harry Honesty on the left. Ryan Adams on the right. Matt Carter keeps his position in behind Neil Richmond. On the bench, that gives us Aaron Couch, Charlie Morley, Tashan Richmond, George Valentine for his first inclusion in the squad this season, and Richard Beck. Okay, about to get things underway here with Ricky Evans, hashtag playing in the blue away strip. Brightling C in the red and black AC Milan-like kit. Ready, Sebby? I'm ready. This reminds me of uh, Broomfield, a team I used to play for Brentwood under-12s against. Broomfield, something or others, yeah, Essex I, area. I think more people get the AC Milan reference. I think probably so, yeah. Depends where you're from. And we're underway. Lee Hurst is going to go over ball on that left side, looking in behind for Harry Honesty. Early start here for Hashtag, trying to put pressure on, but it's going to roll out of play. Do a bit more investigative journalism. And it's going to fall to Lee Hurst here, who chests it down. Bang is it. he going to shoot on the left foot? He thought, he, about, he it. thought about it, didn't he? He's going to go to Harry instead. Didn't quite get the opening. Harry tries to take on his man. Still got the ball here. Can he deliver? Good defending, but Harry's still got the ball. Now on his right side. Plays a little pass into Matt Carter. Can Matt Carter make some space? Good footwork from Matt. Still Carter. Oh, he's done him. Oh, he's done it three times. Hits it. Oh, it's a good save. And that was, that was dance. That was delightful. That was like watching Strictly come dancing. Loading up football manager last night, the stats on Matt Carter compared to the small amount of games he's played for us were very, very high. They've seen something in that lad. And that was what we've just seen all there. As have the people at West Ham and Charlton who gave him contracts, let's not forget. That's an ensemble I could get behind. I think it's Alexander McQueen. I think we should get a mascot outfit for Mum, just a massive hash. She hat. wants one. She, 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 I've, I've told it. her just to Any mascot manufacturers out there, can you uh, please get in touch? She wants a big Joey, you know, like a big Shiba Inu. <laughs> okay. 
There we go. Charlie Lindo looking dangerous on this left side with pace up against Kane Brogan. Plays it inside to Enna. Good tackle from Farai Singano. It's what, what he does. He's going to continue his run. Farai's getting forward. Ryan Adams on the right. Can he find someone in the middle? Whips it in. Look at the Farai. Oh, it's an unbelievable effort from Farai Singano, who's covered about 80 yards there after a fantastic tackle. That would have been the goal people wanted to see. That's the goal that makes you, it would have been the goal you fall in love with him for. He wins the ball, goes on a marauding run. Did you see the way he unloaded the ball and he just went head down? You knew the ball was going to come in and that was nearly a magical goal. Unbelievable stuff from Farai. It's a very good return. One in two is great. He probably could have 20, and he knows that. Kane Brogan winning the, his fair share of aerial challenges today. Matt Carter flicks it on to Richo. Can he find Harry Honesty in behind? Something to chase against the number six. Harry doing well to use his body. Still Harry Honesty. He's going to try and beat oh, his man again. Him. Can he deliver? Pulls it across. Looking for Ryan Adams. Can to fall to Lee Hersey on his right foot. Can he get it away? Works it back in on the left foot. Oh, Harry Honesty. Oh, he scuffed at it. Too composed, if anything, from the hashtag boys there. Shame. It's Great work better. from Harry originally, though. Yeah, fantastic work. When he gets his head down, the pelt is on. You're going to have to really go sub to stop him, I'm telling you. You just need it to fall to someone, that cross, and we, it's a goal. Kane Brogan does well to win that header. header. Ricky Evans finds Ryan Adams. That's a good tackle, but Ryan's going to get this now. Down the line for Matt Carter. Can Matt produce a little bit of Carter magic? When Guardian Leviosa, oh. he drops a shoulder. Left foot shot, saved. Oh, and it, oh, keeper's done well, but he's spilling things. He's not holding on to them, Seb. He really isn't, and Carter is just cut inside again. He shows he's comfortable doing so on both feet, and another shot in. Surely one of these soon is going to be too much for that keeper. I'm still yet to see a ball go through that Harry Honesty hasn't either got to or caused some sort of mischief for the defender on. That's what you were talking about, about just putting it in that area, just right? Just do it there, exactly, just do it. Ryan's got a similar level of pace to Harry. You know, Ryan might even fancy himself as quicker. But the acceleration, the change of speed, just put it in those areas. Anything can happen. Matt Carter's gone short on the corner here. He's gone to Harry Honesty, who's returned the favour. Carter whips it in. Oh, and almost! Yeah! He's headed in the back post! Neil Richo Richmond with his 12th goal of the season. His 12th in 22. It made it to him in the back stick and he didn't miss his chance, Sebi. He is a fox in the box. He scored a goal like it last week when Jack Harrison flicked one on from another Matt Carter corner. This one went short, but Richo's got a knack of being in the right place at the right time. And that's what all good strikers do. 1-0 to Hashtag United. Great time to score here as we approach the end of the first half. Hopefully we can go in to the break with the lead and we look good value for our lead well I think we look good value for the lead overall the other team you know Brighton City have looked like they have got some danger in them we have certainly been on top and devs will be very happy to see us get reward for all this good work important now we switch on and don't let anything slip it's a good switch of play from Brighton City to get over to the right side intercepted though by Ross Gleed who finds Matt Carter can he slip in Harry Honesty Matt Carter going to burst through the middle and do it on himself he's got Ryan Adams to the Ooh. right still Matt Carter gets the ball back can he get a shot off Matt Carter is a free kick on the Here we box. Go. This could be interesting. I'd imagine Matt Carter will take it. And we're going to see a yellow card, I think. Matt Carter, not, I'd say, the fastest player, but very fast with the ball. Yes. Very fast with the ball. Different sort of skill. Great balance, you'd say. Now, Ricky's been pretty consistent at challenging the keeper from free kicks. He hasn't scored one yet. We've had a few good things that have come from them. He usually tests the keeper. That's what you need to do at this level, because, you know, you've got to potentially expect the keeper to drop it. Could fall at someone. Ricky Evans! Oh, and it looked like it could have been goal-bound if the goal was just a couple yards further back. Ricky Evans dipping. You don't see many central defensive midfielders have a bit of a left-footed wand on them like Ricky Evans does. But he scored one earlier this season. I think it was against Burnham away. Bit of a long ranger. Yeah, the volley, a long ranger. And I think he probably fancied himself from set pieces as well. It's going to be one of the last kicks of normal time in the first half as we approach injury time here. Oh, flicked on! Got to be a goal! Oh, are you oh, kidding it's me? It's a double save, Ryan Adams! Yeah! Ryan Adams gets the goal, he's eighth of the season. And if there was any doubt about whether this guy could do it in non-league, he has silenced the doubters. Fantastic striker's goal from Ryan Adams. Another fox in the box and another goal from a set piece. Made a comment earlier about how some of the Brightling Sea players look quite young, quite short. Another threat from an aerial ball coming in. Two corners have led to two goals for Hashtag. Harry Honesty doing well and Hashtag playing with a real spring in their step. Matt Carter, they're going to get a shot off on the left foot. Deflected. I don't know who it was. And the refs played literally zero injury time. And uh, yeah, it's a 2-0 lead at the end of the first half. Seb, thoughts? 
Yeah, I'm very happy, to be honest. We've dominated the game. Uh, they've had chances, but what is great to see is that when we've made clear-cut chances, more often than we normally do, we're putting the ball in the back of the net. Our conversion ratio has improved, and that is a big thing for us, so very, very positive. I'm sure Devs will want to see more of the same in the second half. Get the clean sheet, get the three points, and we'll go into Christmas very happy. We'll see you soon for the second half. Delighted with the scoreline. I think it's taken us a long time to get going. Um, and we've seen that actually all that's taken is a little bit of a bit of thought, a little bit of quality, a bit of intent <laughs> to get goals. You've then got them riled. We just keep the second and then we're straight up again. They cannot live with Matt. You've been tremendous apart from the times when you've been trying to be too clever. We're better than this. We're a lot better than what we're showing. We must improve for our own purposes, for our own benefit. If we don't improve, they will get back in the game. You continue with the way you've finished since the, set, since the first goal, since the half, you're going to get a load more chances. A load more chances. Defensively, a um, couple of things. Been really good on the whole. I'm going to point out a couple of things. Really, really good. When we're defending, it's bouncing in there. Lift your clearances, don't snatch, don't be, even if it means less distance, get a bit of height on it, let's get round under pressure. There's a couple of times you, I think, oh, he's done brilliant, and then you try and be too clever. The big thing that's letting us down is our own attitude towards ourselves. I'm hearing people arguing, I'm hearing people dig each other out. Demand of people, expect, have expectation of each other, but don't start all that pointing fingers at people, right? Because that's not where we're, we're, we're a team. We've got to be together. All right, so let's use this opportunity, this break, to I say, hit the reset button, get going at what we're good at, and we've seen the things that hurt, and let's go and do it. And it's really, really put in a good 45 minutes. I want a real good performance this next 45 minutes. I want a performance that will make that scoreline even better. I want to go home happy with the standards that we've set. We've fallen short of it that half. We're better than that. Let's make it better. Ref's going to get us underway here for this second half. Dev's happy with what he's seen in the first half. Hopefully more of the same from Hashtag as Brightling C kick things off. Not trying to play through the thirds. Matt Carter Brilliant doing from well that. to get to the ball before the number six. And he stops it dead. Stops his man in his tracks. Goes back to Kane Brogham here. No, it's actually Ryan Adams, sorry. Ryan Ad in the box now looking for Richo. Keeping the ball alive. Matt Carter, this is the most football. Oh, it's lovely footwork. It's the most football we've played in the second half. Carter finds Lee Hurset. Lee gets some space, beats a couple men, hits it on the right foot. Oh, forces a save from the keeper. Well, he definitely didn't strike it like he meant to, but it was on target enough and made the keeper make a pretty decent save with his left hand down there. Another corner. We've been very threatening from corners. Both goals come from corners. Matt Carter may be having his best game yet in a hashtag shirt. His last two have been good, but... He looks like he's growing into the role at Hashtag United. Today, given that advanced role in behind the striker, and, you know, they haven't been able to deal with him thus far, and I think he may have just won us another free kick. Should have been a free kick. Rest playing advantage. Oh, it's a great turn from Matt Carter, who leaves his man for dead. He's sent him to the shops. He's hit. Deflected. Yay! Oh, and it's in. It's a deflected shot from Lee Hurset, which beats the keeper. And it's 3-0, and Matt Carter is having a field day, Seb. Involved in yet another goal, and a great little celebration from Lee Hurst there. You know, he, he shoots on his right foot. This time he's shot on his left. He's put it into the danger area. Possibly a little deflection there. Massive deflection. Keep the keep, call the keeper off guard, and he'll be disappointed, the goalkeeper. Let his third goal in. It, once again, is hashtag three, Brightling Seed Region, nil. What I like particularly about the build-up to that goal is Matt Carter got fouled in the build-up. He played on, he put a bit of battle in, and mugged off his man. And got it in. And Charlie Morley's entered the field. We've had a substitution. I think it might be Lee Hurset. I think Lee Hurset. Right. Lee Hurset's gone off. Charlie Morley's come on, and uh, I imagine Matt Carter's moved into a deeper position with Ricky Evans. Good header from Farilo. It's gone behind him. That's not where he aimed it. I'm sure. Needs to be careful on that yellow card. Oh, I think he's been fouled that time. Recovered and so well there. He's got to be careful, Charlie Lindo, because he probably should have got yellow in the first half for the, what's still the worst tackle of the game. And he's done a foul on Farai there as well. Headed high by Farai. Still going. Oh, Farai, another late one on Farai. It's about time, ref. There have been a couple more cynical ones on Farai than what he got yellow for. Yeah, it's got to be time we see a yellow card for Brighton see now, surely. I think that one, number four, Thomas Dunningham, is going to find himself in the book here. They're getting a little bit frustrated. Obviously, they find themselves 3-0 down. 
But he's got to go on Santa's naughty list for that one. It's a great touch there. Oh, what fantastic work from the number seven who's beaten Ross Gleed here. Brightlessly working forward. Tries to get the pass over to the eight. Oh, fantastic work from Simon Petty to stop the cross. When you've got men like Petty and Farai at the back, you know, it gives you a level of comfort. That you just think whatever they throw at us, they're going to have to be something very, very special to cut past those two. Richo's back to defend this one. We left Harry oh, Honesty forward. Post. Oh, it's missed everybody. Can't be getting through like that. And it's a foul, I think, against Kane Brogan. We'll get the free kick. But you can't let balls get across the box like that, Seb. No, you can't. You've got to cut them out as early as you can. It was one of them low ones that sort of bobbles and blips around. The kind that you'd love Neil Richmond to have at the other end. Substitution for hashtag. Harry Honesty's race is run. He's going to be replaced by... Tashan Richmond, I imagine we'll see Charlie Morley come out wide with that swap. Harry Honesty in absolutely no hurry to leave the field. Chance here, worked into the box. Looking to get a flick on Tashan, couldn't connect. Ross Glee does well. Oh, oh right, you need to get back shape now, boys. He's bought that free kick, the player's done well, he knew what he was doing. We're going to see another yellow card, I think. This one for Neil Richmond, is it? No, Matt Carter. And I think that will be the final nail in Matt Carter's coffin today. I think Jay Devereaux probably would be looking to replace him anyway. He's put such a big shift in today. He looks spent. If he does do it, he'd have to do it for Couchy and probably put Tashan in centre mid. Or Charlie in centre mid. He's done that before. Great long throw. Tashan right Richmond. Tasha Richmond. Can he hold it up? Oh, it's a heavy touch from Tashan. He's going to get a free kick though. I think he got away with that because no, I don't think... Yeah, possibly. I think he had his shirt though, to be honest. May have made, looted the ball was going further away than him because he's been held back. Okay. Charlie Morley's going over there to take this free kick. It's going to be taken here. Oh, it's a good effort on the left foot. It's a Gleed. From Ross Gleed who's hit that. He can strike a ball. Struggled to see in the light who it was. But Ross Gleed's good connection. Yeah, very good connection. We said that earlier. He's a very good striker of the football. Always seems to get great contact. Not enough free kicks from either team have troubled the goalkeeper, though. Clears the danger. Ricky flicking on. About like 10 minutes. It's a hit from distance. Oh, what a goal that would have been. That was headed towards the goal at a fast rate. I was panning him for a minute, then I saw Jacko just watching it go by and always right with the world again. We've seen the armband being passed from Ryan Adams over to Ricky Evans. Nice. So Ryan Adams' race is run. George Valentine coming on with about six minutes left here. What can you do, Georgie Porgy? It's starting out quite okay. wide. That one was not as good. That's a poor corner from Charlie, that. He's very keen to go and book Matt Carter for this. There was a really big shout from somebody there. Someone saw something that I didn't quite see. Wow, he's had such a good game today, Matt Carter. And he's been blighted with this late sending off for a second yellow card. Charlie Morley's put that into danger there. Oh, the headers struggle to be cleared. Ped's got something on it. Kane trying to clear it. Can't get rid of it. Bodies flying everywhere. Farai putting a big tackle in. And that's offside. But the man at the back post isn't. Hits it! Cleared by Simon Peddy. He's where you need him to be always. Oh, look at this from George Valentine. Turning the afterburners on. We like that from George. He's found... Tashan here. He's going to return the favour. Look at the pace from George Valentine. He's run the length of the pitch here. Unfortunately, defender does well to recover, but great energy from George and Tash there to stop the ball. Going forward, the ref has blown the final whistle. It's all over. A convincing 3-0 victory over Brighton Sea Region Reserves. Means we get six points over them for the season. Two 3-0 defeats. Seb, pretty happy with that? Oh, very happy with that. I mean... Back to back three nils against this team is fantastic. They are the bottom of the towards the bottom of the table, but you can see they've got some danger there. We weathered a bit of a storm in the first half. Professional performance, much better chance conversion. I'm very, very happy with it. Devs will be happy going into Christmas with three points in his Santa's sack. Now I imagine it's gonna be a difficult decision for you, mate, but we need a man of the match. Yeah, I mean, I've got to be honest, there was a standout performer the entire game who was just brilliant, involved, you know, everything we had going forward threateningly wise, and that's Matt Carter. He was absolutely sensational today. Uh, he's been growing in confidence, growing in, in performance since he's, you know, come into the starting side. But he did get sent off, you know, and I've got to be honest, I haven't exactly seen the challenge that got him his second yellow card. 
I have seen a tweet that said it was a in inverted commas disgusting challenge. Yeah, it was a tweet from the opposition. Yeah, but I, I, you know, is that bias? Have they seen it? I haven't seen it. I can only judge what I've seen in front of me. You know, without seeing a replay of it, for me, the standout performer of the match, who had the biggest contribution on the pitch, was Matt Carter. So today, he's going to be my man of the match. Okay. Fair play. Big win for Hashtag. We don't know the results from the other games just yet, so we're not sure if that puts us back on top, but it puts us in a good scenario going into Christmas. Plenty more games coming up. We've got Ben Fleet away on the 29th. Maybe we'll see some of you there, but for now, we'll join Devs for a post-match team talk. Merry Christmas. Well done. Um, <coughs> not our best, but comfortable enough. And what was really pleasing, and I think it's been mentioned, but the clean sheet and the way we defended. The way we defended, when the game got a little bit at 3-0, it kind of went a little bit flat and it got a little bit fractious, if you like. And it's a great way to go into Christmas. Only negative for me, and I've got to speak because it will cost us, and it's cost us today with you, is discipline. You can't, you don't, you can't get away. It's cheap. I could, I could understand if it was frustration because we're we're, we're two nil down. But you're three nil up, and the game's won, and it's just about controlling it. We're going to play games as it goes towards the end of the season, that where there's a little bit more on it, and it's a little bit more fractious, and you've got opposition where it, it kind of means as much to as well, and it'll get, it'll get. No, and we can't afford to lose bodies. But three points, clean sheet, on the whole. A solid, if not spectacular, performance. I'll take that. All of you have a brilliant Christmas. I will now. Good. Well done, boys. Well done. Really pleased. Right, so I'm here with Ryan Adams. A victory and a nice way to set us up for Christmas. Yeah, I think it was pretty convincing. Uh, we didn't really look too troubled throughout that game. Um, as a whole, I thought we could have done better going forward, but defensively we were solid as a rock. So, yeah, good result. And I've just had word that Enzyme lost, which means that we are top of the league for Christmas. Yeah, that's massive. Um, obviously, everyone wants to be top of the league, but we've got a long way to go yet. You know, if we can carry that on into the new year, you know, that's our aim at the end of the day. So we've just got to keep pushing, keep working hard, and just keep giving them three points. Decent. Well done today, Ryan. Go and enjoy Christmas, mate. Thank you very much. And yes, guys, this is where this video is going to come to an end. I hope you have enjoyed it. I've managed to find a bit of light because they've turned off the floodlights here, but we're in high spirits because Hashtag United are now in first place over Christmas. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. Couchy's loving it, I'm loving Merry it. But Christmas. yes, Merry Christmas <laughs> to everybody. Hashtag United, obviously being in first place is huge. You know, we didn't think that we'd do this. We didn't think that this was even gonna be possible in our first season, so that is huge. Also, forward manager, Hashtag United being in it is also huge news. Definitely go and check the link in the description and download that and play with us over Christmas and see if you can do better than Devs is right now. But as always guys, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to drop it a like, subscribe if you are new and click that notification bell. And as always, Merry Christmas and don't forget to hashtag it. Yeah.